Hello, Craig. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. You look very fraught today. <laughs> um, very, very fraught. So I've been coming as a member to Antenna for about three or four months now. Yeah. Probably a little bit longer, actually. Yeah. Food's great. Bar's great. Connectivity's mm -hmm. awesome. Uh, I heard there's a studio downstairs. You've just shown me through the labyrinth of yeah. Antenna, all these different studios. Yeah. Uh, you're a very busy man. I appreciate your time. Nice. Um, a lot of people are sort of having issues with sort of interaction and the social presence. So that's why I'm sort of determined okay. to help you with that. And we're glad you're here. Well, thanks. Yeah. Um, Tell me a little bit about how Antenna got started and the investment and all that sort of thing that went into this place. Um, I've, I've run a, a, um, several businesses in the past and still do um, that work with young people in creative media stuff and um, it was a logical development um, we felt to, to, to put together Antenna um, for them, for those, the youth, the new people coming through. Um, to have a business centre um, for creative businesses that attracted people like yourself, you know, more established, you've got you, you know your career well underway, and uh, mm -hmm. and for newcomers, and mm -hmm. to try and be a bit of a melting pot, really, yeah. and go. My belief has always been, you know, it's like if I like you and you like me, and yes. I say I've got a good mechanic, your car's bust, and I go, you ought to try so and so, then you you know, hopefully that sort of real networking works you 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 know you get a good experience then you tell other people and blah 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 yeah yeah and to me you know a social media person such as yourself and uh you know the, the same principle i believe applies i think so and i don't believe that just going to general networking events for most normal awkward people like myself is actually a very uh, rewarding experience. They they become like a little private yeah they, no they come like a little private breakfast club that uh, people doing business with each other but there's nothing outside of that yeah. which is really unfortunate. Yeah. So I personally believe that Antenna could be potentially and I've seen a lot of places all over the globe. Um, I think Antenna could be the blueprint of uh, what it should be a digital hub. Uh, the food is excellent. Uh, the connectivity is good. We need to do work on on t shouting about it, which right. we're going to help with. Yeah, great. Um, what what ne what would you like to happen in the next six months at, at Antenna? Um, I would like more and more people to become aware of it and use it, and it be useful to them. Um, in some senses, I have always believed that it's actually up to people like you what you want us to do with it, and if there's enough people wanting the same thing be it events that you want putting on or, um, or, or even down to pieces of hardware and, and things like this. If there's enough of a demand, I mean, we are, I'll qualify this, we're a private business, um, we're running this um, as, a, as a, um, a private business. We, we're in city council buildings, but they've let us, um, uh, they've given us a, uh, the challenge <laughs> of, of, of doing this really. So. But I think that's what makes Antenna unique, is that normally these relationships are city council based and their initiatives, you know, and they're great, but they're different mm. to what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So, but we still believe that if we get it right on a commercial level, um, it, it, it can work. So like I say, we want more people like you and more people from all areas of creative industries to come forward and and have you know sort of own bits of antenna really in okay. the sense of okay. we we, we want to do what the members want us to do really. So you've got a number of packages. Uh, I'm a mem on the member package, which yeah. is twenty five pound a year, which is bloody good value. You. Um, you also have virtual tenancy. How yeah. full are you? Because you're getting pretty full. Yeah, I mean the the virtual tenancy thing. Um, if I give you an example, it probably probably makes more sense. Um, virtual tenancy works for some people, possibly won't work for other people. You can happily come to Antenna as a member, sit in the bar, connect, you know, to the to the wider world, and and be there all day. Um, virtual tenancy gives you extra things like there's um, some hot desking space um, that you can use, uh, access to meeting rooms, um, slightly more, um, an address. Some people, let's say, to give you an example, like film projects, we've got film projects here at the moment, having a, an address um, in this part of the world potentially helps them with funding and stuff mm. like that. Mm -hmm. So they can have a business based here for the duration of that film and that will help them access certain funds. Okay. 
So that's where it definitely starts to make sense. And people that want to, um, I've got so many friends who are single person bands, you know, men, women, they just do their own thing, but they want a space like this to just come and maybe have clients. Sound out things, things and, yeah, yeah. And sound out ideas and meet people that are like them. Yeah. Um, they don't want an office in town all the time, but virtual tenancy potentially gives them an address in town, um, you know, and the ability to come in and do some work. Okay. Um, and yeah. so, what? So, what's the uh, website address for Antenna? Antenna. Uh, antenna. Uk. Com. Okay, Craig. Thank you for your time. Absolute pleasure.